Hey guys, welcome to my first guitar tutorial video ever. This one's gonna be for Don't Let My Sunshine Go by Julian, featuring Twow and Sophie Wood. Um, yeah, I, I didn't find any other video on YouTube that had this, um, so I figured I would do it myself, because it's very simple. Um, I'm, I'm very new to guitar, so please be easy on me. Um, yeah, let's get right into it. I'm gonna start with the main riff. Um, so we're gonna be in the key of D, if that's helpful to any of you. We're gonna be doing like the very basic pentatonic shape, starting with the... We're gonna be using that to help us, um, but that's not super important. I'm gonna try to put the tab up here somewhere. Um, so it's gonna be basically something along those lines. That's kind of what repeats throughout the song. Uh, I think the taps will be pretty self-explanatory, but yeah, it should sound something like that. And that's the main riff of the song. And then we're gonna go to the chords next. So the guitar part is kind of in the background and you can't really hear it throughout most of the song because it's only in the intro and the chorus, um, but it's very simple. Um, so it, it goes something like this. Our first chord is going to be, uh, D, uh, major seven, and I'm going to put them up on the screen. So you should be able to see them. Um, so that's going to be our first chord. Then our next chord is just a half step up. Um, and it's very similar. You kind of move just a few of your fingers and you do a, a D sharp minor seven or D sharp minor, you can also make it a seven. I think he does it throughout some of the guitar licks. And then the next chord is another half step up, half step up. That one is just gonna be an E minor seven. And then he's also gonna throw in that pinky. And then our last chord is gonna be an A major chord. So those are the chords, so D major seven. D-sharp minor, or minor 7, uh, E minor, E minor 7, A, and so it should sound something like this um, when you actually do the strumming and the muting, uh, which I'll get into here. strumming um it's kind of just like a down down up up down 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 up up down 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 so without like the muting it would sound like to be super exact but that's kind of just what it sounds like and you can just kind of hear it in the song um and it actually sounds like when he does that first part that first chord and then he goes to the second chord and maybe he doesn't it kind of switches it up a little bit and then for that last chord um it's kind of just like a um so it's like up up or down down up Um, yeah, so that's kind of what that is. And then for the, so for the muting on it, you, it doesn't have to be exact, but basically the way that what I'm doing here is that I'm playing the chord, but then immediately letting go. 
it gives it that sound. So when you're playing, for example, the down, down, up, I'm, I'm letting go as soon as I play it, basically. And basically that all you're doing with your left hand is just letting go of the strings that you're playing. You don't have to completely lift your hand because that'll throw your chords off. You just have to make sure that they're not touching the fretboard um, and it'll give it that, that sound. So it just goes like. And these are kind of, these are basically the same throughout those first three chords of. Like I was kind of saying earlier, this one, I don't know if there's as much muting on that one, but on that third chord, it's the same thing. And then on the final chord, um, that A, you're doing a, so it's a, yeah, you just let go of it. Um, it's the only chord that's different, but the rest, you can kind of play them the same. And they don't have to be identical um, to the song. So play it however you want and however it feels good to you. So that's the end of the video. I hope the tabs are going to be pretty self-explanatory because it's a very simple song. Um, stick with it. I hope uh, you do well. It's not too complicated, but it can be kind of complicated with the bar chords. Um, but I have faith in you. I think you got it. Uh, yeah, good luck, and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Have a good day.